what is India's EV adoption rate in terms of percentages? Is it 2%, 5%, average 10% or how exactly do we measure these percentages of EV adoption? Simply divide the number of EV vehicles with the total number of vehicles or are there other ways to do this? In today's episode, I am going to dive deep into India's EV adoption rate, how we can calculate currently. Hello everyone, welcome to the Green and Clean YouTube channel. My name is Vittal. Let's imagine a situation. There are just two cars in your neighborhood, your car and your neighbor's car, which is a cab. You drive 10 kilometers a day and your neighbor who has a cab drives 90 kilometers a day and both are ICE cars. So currently the EV adoption rate in your neighborhood is 0%. Let's say you sell your ICE car and switch over to EV. Then the number of cars or the EV adoption, just looking at the number of cars is 50% because one car is EV and the other one is ICE. But the EV car runs just 10 kilometers a day, whereas the other car, the cab, which is an uh, ICE car, runs 90 kilometers a day. So if you calculate that way, the EV adoption rate is just 10% because only 10 kilometers out of 100 are driven by EV. So today I'm going to dive deep into such uh, statistics where I can try to calculate EV adoption rate just looking at the number of vehicles and uh, EV adoption rate by looking at the number of kilometers they run and I'm going to do it in each of the category of vehicles that is two wheelers, three wheelers, passenger cars, buses and commercial vehicles and we will see what is the EV adoption rate. The data for today's episode is grabbed from Vahan website, Niti Aayog website and uh, some bit of uh, AI. So the analysis is as good as the data and the data is probably up to the year 2024 or some part of 2025 and it is not the latest and the greatest data. Let's look at each category of uh, vehicles. We will look at the total number of vehicles, total number of EVs and how much is the adoption. So first section is two wheelers. So in India, we have 24 crore two wheelers and out of this around 45 lakhs are EV. And if you just look at the total number of EVs versus total number of vehicles, the EV adoption rate is 1.88% for two wheelers. But if you take the EV adoption by kilometers, that is if you consider uh, each Two wheeler runs up roughly about 6,000 kilometers a year, and then uh, divide this kilometer with the total number of kilometers driven by all vehicles in India, then you are getting an EV adoption rate of 1.12%. So, once again, just EV adoption by number is 1.88%, but if you do it by kilometers, it's 1.12% for two wheelers. Going to the next section, three wheelers, there are about 80 lakh three wheelers uh, in India out of this. 13 lakhs are EVs and this is a very good figure actually. Uh, there are more three-wheeler EVs than I imagined uh, in India. So this makes the EV adoption rate looking at just the number to 16.25% which is impressive. But what happens if you look at the total number of kilometers driven? So if you consider 20,000 kilometers run annually in these three-wheelers and check the EV adoption by kilometers, it's only 1.07%. That means only about 1% of uh, kilometers driven in India are by an EV three-wheeler, even though the EV adoption rate is 16% for three-wheelers. If you are liking this episode, a kind reminder to like the video and if you are somebody who is watching videos like this or want to watch videos like this, maybe you can subscribe to the channel, press the bell icon so that you get notified. Next, let's look at the passenger cars. This number looks dismal actually. Uh, there are four crore cars in India, out of which uh, around two lakh are EVs, so that makes an EV adoption rate of only 0.55%. Remember, this is total number of cars, not the cars sold by uh, in that particular year or month. If you take into if you take that into consideration, then the EV adoption rate is slightly higher. But when you consider the total number of vehicles, this is the adoption, just 0.55%. And if you consider passenger cars running 12,000 kilometers annually and uh, divided by the total number of kilometers driven by vehicles in India, then the EV adoption rate or EV adoption percentage by kilometers for passenger cars is just 0.11%. Next, if you look at buses, there are 15 lakh buses out of which around 25,000 are EVs. So that makes an EV adoption rate of 1.67%. And if you consider 60,000 kilometers run annually by these buses and do the EV adoption by kilometers, it's 0.06%. You will see in all the sites, you will see the total number of kilometers driven per year and total number of kilometers by EV per year. I will not repeat it to keep the video short. 
Next, let's uh, look at the commercial vehicles. There are one crore commercial vehicles. These are uh, all the trucks, um, uh, vans, uh, and tempos, etc., etc. So there are one crore uh, vehicles, and out of which around twenty thousand, I think twenty thousand uh, are uh, EVs. And the EV adoption rate, just by looking at percentage, is only zero point two percent. And if you consider twenty five thousand kilometers running annually for these vehicles, the EV adoption rate is just zero point zero two percent. Once again, all these numbers are from uh, reliable sites like Wahan and uh, Niti Aayog and also some bit of AI. So let's look at the overall numbers. If we do add all of these together, we have around 28.95 crore uh, vehicles in India in total, out of which around 60 lakh are EVs. That makes EV adoption rate just by number is uh, about 2.09%. But if you consider EV adoption by kilometers driven, it is 2.38 percent so it is slightly better than the ev adoption by number but not a whole lot now next uh, begs the question like what should we do to increase the ev adoption rate um, a lot of people say that if uh, all commercial vehicles are first converted to evs then we will gain uh, a good number of percentage but is that so let's let's take a look so if all buses and commercial vehicles are ev today then the EV adoption rate is around 6%, just looking at the number. But if you look at EV adoption by kilometer, it is still about 16.35%. So even if all buses and commercial vehicles are switched over to EV, we are achieving still a very small number of ED, EV adoption rate, which is 6% and 16%. So that means if all private vehicles, that is uh, two wheelers and passenger cars, if they are converted to EV, if all of them are converted to EV, then the EV adoption rate by number is about 97%. Yes, 97%. So I was also surprised, but this is the number. And EV adoption by kilometers is 80.5%. So this underlines the fact that along with commercial vehicles, it is private vehicles which needs to be converted into EVs. And that is what I wanted to bring to your notice through this episode today. Now, here's the thing. Even though these numbers do give some sense of EV adoption. What about pollution? Because one kilometer by a two-wheeler and one kilometer by a bus produces different amounts of pollution. So we need to take pollution also into consideration. And that's what I'm going to do in the next episode where I look at the pollution uh, rate along with the um, EV adoption rate. Hope you will watch it when it is released. Thanks a lot for watching today's episode. See you again in another episode of Green and Green YouTube channel.